Hi and welcome, you find me in the engine bay of my R53 and I just want to run through the things that I've had to do to make sure this turbocharged engine is going to go into the car. So one of the main things you'll notice in this engine bay if you're used to the R53 is across here all of the plastic cowling has gone. You need to get rid of that, it's too big, it's in the way and even if you could fit the turbocharger in with that there it wouldn't last long before it either melted or caught fire. So I've optioned to build myself a new firewall a lot of people don't, they just put some heat shielding across the front, but my option is one millimeter aluminium plate, fiberglass heat shielding, and build a full firewall all the way across. That helps to protect the brake lines that are there, it helps to protect the wiring loom that's behind there, and it also means that the air that I'm pulling in for my ventilation is through these scuttle panels up here, and that means that I'm getting nice air, not air that's been past the engine that might have oil fumes in it, it might have petrol fumes in it, don't know, whatever. One of the modifications you're going to need to do is move your power steering and your coolant header tanks. They've got to go, they're in the way. What I did is took the standard bracket, I've basically cut it down, modified it, welded it back together and I've fitted it over here. You'll need to add a few riv nuts but once you've got this bracket in it's nice and solid. You can mount then an existing R53 cooling tank on. Now as you know this is an aluminium one, this is a Canton can. And what I chose to do is make up a power steering tank that's welded to the side of it. So I've got an all-in-one power steering and coolant tank. Now I appreciate lots of people watching this can't weld and this might not be the solution that you want to do. Other companies who are offering turbocharged conversions, they take the standard power steering tank and they locate it up the top where the alarm is. Now this is a right-hand drive. If you've got a left-hand drive, you probably find that you want to be doing it over this side next to your brake booster. Uh, brake boosters are over here behind this firewall section and there's reasonable space there if you take the alarm module out. Obviously you could extend the wires and then put the alarm module somewhere else. I'm keeping my alarm module where it is and keeping my power steering tank over here. This is a pre-facelift and you'll see that it still fits in with plenty of room around this bush. And the modifications that you're going to have to carry down on the power steering tank is remove the two existing lines that go up here. That includes the steel hard line that runs all the way back over to where your steering uh, column is. You'll need to get rid of that and throw it all away. Then what you need to do is go and buy this hose here. I'll uh, put the dimensions of this hose in. Some heat shielding so you're not melting it and then run that back to the head of the pump. This is your low pressure line. I believe it's 22 mil, but there'll be a correction on the screen if I'm wrong. And you've also got this pipe here, which runs down. Now this is your high pressure line, or should I say it's the return of your high pressure line, because your actual high pressure line is this one here that you leave alone. You leave that as it is. But this one can become a high pressure line if you hit a pothole, or if you hit a curb, or you hit gravel, whatever you hit when you're driving. So what you need to do is make sure you cut out the restrictor at the original pipe, and put that back in. And one of the most important things you need to do, especially for this line here, the smaller one, is make sure that you are using hydraulic hosing. You don't want this to burst, especially with all the heat that you're gonna have here around the exhaust, and if you are driving it with a, well, in the manner that it's meant to be driven, you're gonna find that this area of the car is very, very hot, so you need to do what you can to make sure that none of this power steering fluid is making its way over to the exhaust. I've also chosen fuel oil line for the main feed to the hydraulic pump. And that's it. No more modifications, just take your R53, strip out all your firewall. You don't need to take the engine out to do that, but it makes it a lot easier. Move your power steering tank over. Uh, choose to either keep the plastic one, the original one, uh, upgrade it to an aluminium one, which is obviously advisable because that's a weak link on a standard R53. And then decide what you're gonna do with a power steering tank here. Uh, there are round units you can get off eBay um, and probably lots of other motor factors that you could actually fit in here and you could bolt it on if you wanted to and then run down. My chosen system, let's see, have it all as one. Or just chuck it up the top and extend your pipes so they come all the way down. Just make sure what you're thinking of is your down pipe's going to be here and you need to make sure that you're keeping everything clear and anything that's likely to get warm, make sure you're wrapping it in silicon sleeving. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and tomorrow I'll be putting the engine into the bay and I can hopefully show you how everything fits inside. Until then, take it easy and thank you for watching.